what are offshore wind farms and how do we get the electricity from them to our homes? Welcome to Chat Science. I am Hayley Loren and today we're going to be looking at the basics of offshore wind farms. So you have probably already heard of an offshore wind farm and you may have actually even watched my previous video on wind turbines and I actually recommend that you do watch that first if you haven't because it kind of gives an overview of how a wind turbine, so an individual wind turbine, takes energy from the wind and converts it into electrical energy. This video is talking about how all of the electrical energy from all of the wind turbines in an offshore wind farm are able to be collected together and then sent to shore for us to enjoy in our homes. So the number of wind turbines that are in an offshore wind farm actually varies quite a lot. So the first ever offshore wind farms had around 25 or 30 turbines and now the offshore wind farms have like a hundred or more than a hundred and they're so big that they've actually had to divide up projects like big projects into mini projects mini offshore wind farms in order to cope with the size so let's imagine we're actually going to build an offshore wind farm so we know we need the wind turbines to get electrical energy but we also need somewhere offshore for the electrical energy to be collected what we need is an offshore electrical substation so the wind turbines are then connected to this substation and instead of each turbine connecting directly to the substation because there wouldn't really be much room for that the turbines are arranged in strings with around eight turbines on a string to transfer all of the electrical energy there are cables the cables exist between each of the turbines so electricity from one is transferred to the next turbine further along the string and so on and the first turbine on the string sends the electricity from all the turbines on that string to the substation okay so we know that each string of turbines is sending electrical energy to the substation then what happens all of the electrical energy is combined together and then transferred to shore by a larger cable called the export cable because you're exporting the electricity to shore. When you reach the shore, the cable is usually buried deep under the beach and then it connects into an onshore electrical substation, which is near the coast. The onshore substation then sends the electricity out into the electrical grid, which connects to our homes. So you can see how there's this amazing process of taking wind, converting it into electrical energy in the wind turbine, then transporting that electrical energy through a whole load of cables and an offshore substation to more cables to an onshore substation and then to the grid and then to our homes. It's huge. Like there's so many different elements to the whole process. And that's what the amazing engineering challenge office is. It's how do we actually piece all of these bits together and make it work? So I hope that was interesting and useful and it gave a good overview of what offshore wind farms actually are. Now, if you've got any questions, honestly, just send me a message on Twitter, write some comments below. I would really love to just chat about it. Not just about this, about anything. If you wanna know about engineering or anything else, just honestly, send some messages and I will respond to all of them. Um, if you want any of the information in like a, a text format, um, I also write a blog on my website so you can grab the information from there. And if you want even more from me, then you can sign up as well on my website um, and you can be part of the chat site crew. <laughs>